all right hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys i decided to do a couple of bonus readings here um to show some love back because you guys have been showing me a lot of love lately and so i want to go ahead and show some love back to the first video it's going to be for sagittarius zodiac signs guys you showed me so much love and support on my previous video so i want to go ahead and do an extended bonus reading as far as love and relationships for you okay so let's go ahead and tap into your energy real quick <clears throat> of course guys let me just say um this is a general reading this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading could be messages for someone else and energies are fluid and interchangeable uh so energies can cross and if you need to please flip them so let's go ahead and um pull your energy and find out what's going on Tell me, what is going on with Sagittarius as far as love and relationships, please? Thank you. Let's tap into your energy. What's going on with Sagittarius as far as love and relationships, please? What's going on with Sagittarius? Thank you. All right, so what I'm getting from you, Sagittarius, right now is the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, the Hermit represents um, singleness, being in the mode of thinking, thought, off to yourself, you know, where you kind of... Go, go away into your room and you just kind of escape from everybody and you really just focus on yourself and things and, and, and that's going on in your life, things like that. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, so I feel like there's a thought about abundance and financial stability that's going on in your life here. You may be thinking of finances, uh, maybe thinking of what you can do to um, grow your money, to expand your money, or you could be dealing with... Um, or you could be actually getting money coming in right now. Let's clarify the Hermit, please. For Sagittarius, Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. We have, they came out in reverse. Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So they came out in reverse. So with the Four of Wands being in reverse here, with the Four of Wands being in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, I feel like you could have recently broken up with somebody here. I separated from a relationship here, and I don't even like reversals, but when they come out, I feel that's the way of spirit letting me know it needs to be read. So with the four of pentacles here, now in the upright position, four of pentacles would represent uh, a committed type of relationship, and then queen of pentacles would represent something stable. But I feel like you're walking away from something here. You recently walked away from a relationship or a situation with somebody that was very stable, um, or you could have walked away from somebody that was... Uh, Maybe I should say that was unstable because with the four, pen, I mean, the queen of pentacles being reversed, it was like, it became unstable for you. Yeah. Ace of swords is on the bottom, eight of wands. I feel like this happened kind of quickly as well. Like it happened out of nowhere because we do have the ten of, well, the ace of swords for one. That represents communication, mental clarity. It's like out of nowhere you woke up and you were like, hey, you know what? I don't want to be in this relationship. What am I doing? And like it was a quick, like a quick decision that you made. It was fast progress. Like you once, once you realized that you didn't want it, you got the heck out of there. Ten of uh, swords here. It was a lot of like disappointment here with this relationship. So something could have happened where they could have hurt you recently. Um, I feel like some fighting did happen with the five of wands and then the devil. So it could have been like a situation that became toxic to you. And you were like, heck no, I'm done with this. I'm getting out of here. Can I have one more to clarify this energy for Sagittarius, please? Okay, it dropped me a few. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Magician. So, yeah, it looks like you're really focused on your finances now. With the Nine of Pentacles here, that's that financial abundance, that, that energy of knowing your worth as a single person, knowing what you have to offer, knowing that it's abundance, you know? And the King of Pentacles here, this is someone's stability, right? It's like you were the stable one in the relationship here. You were the stable one or you're going after your dreams that you want here because we have the six of wands and the magician. That's you putting in work. Maybe recently a situation happened uh, that you've been manifesting, you know what I'm saying, uh, abundance and, and financial stability and things like that. And like it's happening for you. You're putting in the work or you made the decision to focus on yourself and your finances and your stability. Let's clarify the ten of pentacles here. And Nine of Cups is on the bottom, so, I mean, it's making you happy. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. For Sagittarius, Zodiac sign. What's going on with Sagittarius? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're wanting, you're working on your finances. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. 
it's like what I'm getting is you're working on your finances. You're trying to put yourself in a better position. You could be working on something that's um, your own, like your own uh, own business here. Like you're trying to put yourself in a better position. Because we have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Empress. It's like you're you're putting your energy into your finances and it's growing. You're coming from a hardship situation to something successful here. So whatever you're working on, is it's, it's, it's quite successful. It's starting to take off for you. Five of Cups. You might have looked back over on your relationship, though, and, and really looked at things and realized that what was important and what you want to put your love into and your, your heart into was your business here. That's what brings you the happiness here. But the devil is popping out, so you may be a little over-obsessed um, with this financial thing, or you've been putting a lot of work into this financial thing. I don't want to say obsessed. I want to say overly focused. But I feel like you're looking back. Let me let's pull a couple of cards here as far as love and relationships. What's uh what's the what's the energy of Sagittarius as far as love and relationships? How is Sagittarius feeling here? What's going on as far as love and relationships with Sagittarius? Thank you. Yeah, I told you, it's like, it wasn't enough. You felt like this person wasn't bringing you what you wanted. And like, it was like a decision, like, I got to get the heck out of here. They they not on my level. We have a love call, so someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I don't know if somebody recently got in touch with you, or this is this person that you just broke up with that's coming to you, letting you know that they love you, they care about you, they want to be with you. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. That's what it's like. It's like you had, you've been in this thinking mode and you've been looking back and you've been thinking about things like, has this person been supporting me the way that I've been needing them to? Have they been, have they been holding me down or have they been putting me down? And it's like you had this epiphany out of nowhere and was like, why am I wasting my time on this person? They don't even support me or my dreams. What am I doing? And then you went out there and you focused on your dreams and your opportunity and, man, you bossed up. You know what I'm saying? You really bossed up. I have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. What's a date? Okay? This could have been that person that you were getting the love call and things like that from, you know, but it's like not enough frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and jealousy. That's the word I was looking for. It could have been a lot of jealousy that you were putting in your work towards your business. And they didn't like that because you were leveling up and they weren't going anywhere. What's the energy of the person surrounding Sagittarius? Healing heart. They're broken hearted. What's the energy of the person surrounding Sagittarius? What's the energy of the person surrounding Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That could have been a toxic person. Remember, I just pulled the devil. And then the mask, not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yeah. They, they could have been a toxic energy. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Sagittarius, please. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, t the tower and justice. It's like you found out what type of person they were. They really showed their, their true feelings. Or true emotions like you it's like you got down to the neat gritty and you found out who they were for some reason they showed their face their real face and not the mask that they've been putting on and you did not like it look at here disappointment with the eight of pentacles it's like their their work apparently wasn't working the way that they wanted it to their stuff wasn't taking off the way they wanted it to it's the energy that i'm getting Ooh, almost dropped those their, their, their job and their opportunity and their work, work ethic wasn't taken off the way they wanted it to. Here we have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Mental Clarity, Communication, and the King of Wands. They could be an entre entrepreneurial as well, but look, Two of Pentacles, something wasn't balanced out with the Moon card, right? They could have been overspending. They they were living, um, living a lifestyle they couldn't afford. You know what I'm saying? And they were going through money issues and money problems. And because of that, they couldn't get what they wanted. And so when, once that happened, they seen you progressing. And you were like, no, you can't have everything I got. 
They showed their true colors. That face mask fell down. They lost that mask because it finally broke. And then you were able to see what type of person they truly were. I feel like it did break your heart. I feel like you, you did all you could with this person. You did all you could with this person, but this person just wasn't, they weren't meant to be. See, stuff like that happens in situations. You get to know somebody's true feelings. Once they show their true feelings and their true colors, then you get to make your decision. And I feel like you made the best decision because you're walking away from somebody that's being fake. Any clarity or advice here? Solar plexus chakra. Yeah, that's self-esteem. That's being in tune with yourself. Trust. You're trusting your instinct. You're trusting your, your gut feeling that you're having here. You're saying, hey, something ain't right. Thank you, Spirit. Any last? Yeah, seek the truth. See? Their true, their true intentions, their true per personality came out. Okay, that true face, their real face came out. And you got to realize that. And you were like, hold on. As you can see, this person has two faces. They have two heads, one to the left, one to the right. And you were able to split those in two and get down to the nitty-gritty of this person and realize they had bad intentions. Their intentions were bad, yeah. Confront came out. They have internal issues, okay? Internal issues that come from this, that stem from childhood. They need to do some, some shadow work here. Any other uh, clarity or advice you would like to give, Sagittarius? Thank you. Observe. Yeah, look at there. You, this entire time they've been sitting back, they've been watching, they've been planning, they've been watching you. Like when it was all good, it was all good. You know what I'm saying? It was, they had that mask on of a smile. It was all good. It was perfect. It was all that. But the moment that you started to level up and things started to change for you, they, were, they took off that mask that was smiling and they showed the true colors and it was an angry person up under that mask. And that person was upset and jealous because you are progressing and you're getting your abundance that you deserve, that you've put in your hard work for. So it's cool. It's all right. Any last messages here for Sagittarius? Any last messages here for Sagittarius? Any last messages here for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. We have If You Believe. Any last messages here for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Not the right time. We also have get more information. And we also have a yes card. This is your time. Things weren't happening for you because it wasn't a year from now. It's on the bottom. So a year from now, you may hear back from this person if they're not already contacting you. Or a year from now, you're going to be at the point where you want to be. Or this is going to be what's going to be happening to you a year from now. Please uh, apply to it to your situation. Because th the thing is, this here is a timeless reading, okay? This may not be your energy right now. Look at there, the yes card. They're pointing out the yes card. They have a sun and a moon on here. You can make anything happen. They're saying anything is possible for you. Get more information. This person, again, this person is hiding something from you. I feel like they're hiding. Tell me more about this person's energy that's surrounding Sagittarius. Tell me more about this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. It's showing twin flames. Separation, yeah. You're breaking up from them. You broke up from them. But it's also showing twin flames. So this could be your twin flame. But it became toxic. And the thing is, if it's a twin flame, twin flame shows up as those two of cups, right? But if it becomes a situation where it becomes toxic, it's then the devil card. Okay? With those two people being tied, uh, chained together uh, to the devil. So there is separation here, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Yeah, you broke up with them. It's like they showed their jealousy after you started leveling up and they didn't, they didn't, they did not like that. They did not like that. So if you are thinking about giving up on your dreams or your financial situation, don't because it's about to come. You're about to hit your abundance. You're about to hit all of the abundance that you want and that you desire. Okay, it's on its way. It may not be happening here. It could be happening a year from now because we do have a year from now on the bottom. So just give it time. Still keep putting in that work that you're putting in. Still making things happen that's, that you're doing. Keep putting in that time, that effort, that love, that energy, all of that stuff because you're about to be on top, baby. You're about to say goodbye to these, these hard times here. You're about to throw these times away. But anyways, this is your reading, Sagittarius. Again, guys, I thank you so much for your love and support. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.